everybody! It's the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! I'm Argle Fump, and this is uh, Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered. So, what number would you call this game? Uh, Nancy Drew number 1.1.5, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. So. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, out, uh, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. Game. If you want to the know the particulars of how I do what this I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. Ooh, how to be a detective. In this game, you'll also have a cell phone with lots of features. Okay, so the controls are basically the same as, as the original game. I don't think anything's really that different. And the story's basically the same, too. With some changes, let's see the case file. Current assignment. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover and investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake in his untimely end. So that's the main difference. Um, Nancy is no longer just working for the police or the principal. She's working for an undercover detective named Beach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's get started. What, what should I play on? Should I play on junior detective or senior detective mode? I am live streaming this. Uh, I'm just live streaming everything here uh, for the uh, 2020 marathon. So I'll let, I'll let the people in the live stream chat decide if I should play on junior or senior detective. Poor Jake. Yeah, Jake Jake got killed in both versions of the game. He, he's the victim in both versions of the game. I, you know, it's, it's interesting because, uh, okay, I got to vote for senior mode. I was going to say it's interesting because uh, the book takes place, uh, Jake is alive when the book starts. The book takes place like a day before Jake is murdered. Jake is murdered like a third of the way through. I feel like that would have been a good thing to do here in the remastered version of the game. Because that would have made it really different, right? To have the murder not, you know, take place before the game, but a third of the way through. I feel like that would have been a good improvement for the game. It would have changed things up. Instead, they decided to just do the exact same thing. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, the deadly device uh, also has a murder. Yeah, it would have been cool for us to actually meet Jake, right? He's kind of got an interesting personality. He's kind of a sleazeball. But that would have been interesting, yeah. Would have been interesting. So, Nancy, I had to close the school library early today. Uh, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember not to enter in a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. So that's different, too. That's different. This drawer is different. Uh, this is where the secret note is in the game. Uh, in in the, the original edition, the secret note was sort of over here. Let me show you. Let me show you where that secret note was. It was uh, in this drawer. In this drawer. It was over here. And now this drawer is empty. Oh, no. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. Get flight number from Nancy. Call Jackie about uh, Spanish schools. I don't know who Jackie is or why we're talking to her about Spanish schools. So, the secret, secret note was... Doo -doo 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 -doo, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. So, right here, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Let me show you what happens when you get the wrong thing. Oh, I guess you actually have to press a bunch of buttons before the game accepts that as a wrong answer. Here's what happens. Ah! Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> 
Do 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 do. I think, yeah, I can hum the music from memory. That was it. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Here's the key to the library. Uh, that one actually has. Yeah, this game because because it's made with the interface for uh, the 2010 Nancy Drew games. That's how the interface works. You can actually hover over the items to see what they are. So we know that's the library key. No more confusion with the other key in this game. And we have this puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna use my exact same uh, puzzle solving secret as I did, uh, I, I made my same slider puzzle technique. So get the upper left hand corner into place. It looks like it already is. Then uh, get the piece below it into place. Great, now we get the piece that's in this spot, that's right of the upper left-hand corner. We want to get that piece into place. Oh, uh, whatever piece that may be. Okay, it's going to be the top of Nancy's head. It looks like it's the top of Nancy's head is the piece that goes there. This is the cover of a Nancy Drew book. They, they just threw in a bunch of references. So yeah, so this game came out in 2010. So Nancy Drew started in 1930. Um, and I know that just because I played Nancy Drew Secret of the Old Clock. So this would have been the the 30th? No, not the 30th anniversary. The 50th? No, wait, I can do math. Um, 11 minus 30, 80th anniversary of Nancy Drew. Oh my gosh, she's been around forever. Okay, so now that I've got this 2x2 two two block, uh, you know, into place, I'm never going to touch it again. I'm never going to mess with those. Now I'm going to get these two in the, the left-hand corner. So what's the piece that goes there? It's got to be like Nancy's shoulder and then um, Nancy's butt. Um, <laughs> okay, just, just Nancy's dress. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now I've got that row finished, column finished. I want to get these two pieces. It's going to be Nancy's, uh, looks like it's probably going to be Nancy's chest and then um, Nancy's arms. Move Nancy's thing over there, and there we've got the two left hand columns done. The entire left hand side of the board is finished. Yeah, so now is the 90th anniversary of Nancy Drew because it's been 10 years since this game came out. You know, it's been 10 years, they should probably remaster this game. It's been a long time. So it uh, looks like these two pieces are the ones that go in the upper right hand corner. Let's get them into place. Let's get that upper right hand corner into place. That's going to be my next step uh, for this slider puzzle. Upper right hand corner into place. And let's see, what are the two pieces that go here? Is it, is it this? Those two people? Great. So now I've got this uh, two by two thing into place. Uh, yeah, I've got most of this finished. It's done. It's done. We solved the puzzle. Woo! Okay, so... Eloise Drew, O oh, Wise Elder. So if we call Aunt Eloise's number from the original game, you get a special, special number. What was her number in the original game? Uh, I'd have to look it up. It was like 5570, right? I can't be it. I don't know. I, I, I did it in the previous game, uh, in my previous walkthrough. Don't remember it uh, off the top of my head. It's been too long. That was like an hour ago, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, can't look at pictures here. Aw, they took away some of the cool pictures. It's very sad. Hidden clues are everywhere. The Haunted Ghost Bridge. Ooh, that seems cool. Oh, and there, I believe that's a clue. And that's a clue. Let's see, this is a bunch of Nancy Drew books and a quarter. You can find quarters just randomly spread throughout this game. This is the key to the teacher's lounge. Good, good, good. This is just a random page, like, are Lena and Maggie coming to tea? Asked Carl. No, they've gone to see the bandaged treasure at the Land of Lakes Theater, replied Anja. Anya. 
Brady Armstrong's playing the lead. Ooh, I visited Brady's restaurant, screamed Renata. It's called Mammy Lona's. It was magnificent. I ate there, said Carl, and got sick on a jellyfish sandwich. <laughs> Bob whinnied. Okay. So, random references to other Nancy Drew games. Somebody said it's 555-1204. Let's see if that's a number. Happy 80th, Nancy! Best wishes for another 80 more! Aww, you get a special message. Oh, that's cute. And that's... The uh, TV. I don't think we have a remote in this game. I think it's just turn on the TV. Just turn on the TV. I think that's it. Cool. So that's it for Aunt Eloise's house. Let's go outside. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good. And yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Thank you, Detective Beach. Uh, we also can call Nancy's boyfriend Ned, I believe. Yep, Ned's the only contact. Ned's the only person we can actually call. Hi, Ned. Hello? Is this Martha Windeglossen? Who is please calling me? Um, no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned? I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? Hmm. No, I haven't found any secrets that can kill. I, I, I haven't actually done anything yet. Talk to you later. Ciao. <laughs> Ned is cute. I like Ned. That was sweet. Yeah, I don't know why they added Ned phone calls in this game. That wasn't... I mean, it, I guess it's nice, but you'll see we can't talk to him about anything, so there's no point. Uh, they also got rid of the Vandalay Pharmaceuticals, where we have the uh, ending. You know that scene at the end? where we fought bad guys. We fought the culprit at the end. That's not in this game. Not in the remastered version. We also can't break into the teacher's lounge um, through the side of the school. We've got a different way to solve that puzzle. Okay. Can we still play lots of cool music, though? Oh, it costs money. Okay, what, what should we try to... Uh, what do you want us... What, what kind of music should I play? Do we want Rock and Roll, Catherine, Mystique, Goose, Downtown, Dance Dance, Harvest, Woot, Orient, Audition, Spin Wheel, or Strolling? Yeah, the pharmacy wasn't a very um, important location, so I have no problem with them uh, taking it out. Ha <laughs> Okay, so the people in the live stream chat are now talking who's cooler, Ned, Frank, or Joe. Um, okay, you guys can fight over which Nancy Drew guy is hottest. I think it's Mr. September myself. I like him the most. We got a vote for Rock and Roll, Woot, and Downtown. Rock and Roll got two first. Hmm, that's just this normal background music. Let's try Woot. Oh! I can't change songs. I don't have another quarter. Oh well. We could play Barnacle Blast or we could do Aggregation. I would need to find more quarters for that though. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for quarters as I uh, as I play this game. It's just you move your mouse over the screen and sometimes quarters peek out. That's how it works. Okay, so these are, uh, I think it's the same thing. 
uh, as the previous game. Cash Cow. Oh my, Cash Cow is my Cash Cow. So it's, it's probably Jake? Jake is my Cash Cow and these burgers. Oh my goodness, look at those burgers. They're different. The tr double, triple biggie. That's what I'm wondering. So is that like... Oh man, is that like three patties and then two things in between them or what? Oh, hey, and here's uh, Detective Beach. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh, uh, for a long time. <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Nope. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Thank you, Detective Beach. Everyone's favorite Detective Beach. And here's Daryl. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. My then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... What can I do for you? So it's interesting with Daryl, now that he's not Nancy's police contact, what is there for him to do besides flirt with Nancy? And I gotta be honest, I liked cartoon Daryl better than... This kind of 3D Daryl looks kind of creepy, to be honest. The cartoon Daryl was, was uh, better looking, I would say. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. That's right. This version of Daryl is a lot more whiny. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. What do you mean? What do you mean? Get it? Contacts? I'm wearing contacts that let me see pretty women. I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Awkward. Yeah. It looks like a guy who's in his 40s pretending to be a teenager. Bye. <laughs> Later. That's a funny way of putting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the original game. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so here we are. Uh, same puzzle though. I'll show the explosion in this version. So you need to uh, get the soup ladle there or else you go kaboom. Two kabooms. Yeah, Daryl does not make the connection. Hmm, they're calling in a special detective and there's a brand new person showing up who I've never seen before. No, can't be the same person. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you need to use this soup ladle. This puzzle's exactly the same in both versions of the game. Thank you for calling the Second Chance Hotline. All of our operators are currently busy.
Okay, I'll put the bolt cutters back in place for now. <laughs> Grab the soup ladle. Oh, and what's this note? Dear Daryl, I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Connie. <gasps> Connie was dating the victim! Apparently she broke off their date. Man. Okay. So soup ladle there. And that saves everything. Does that look safe to you? That does not look safe to me. Cause, especially because the handle has a curve. That thing's just gonna slip. And, and then the kitchen will blow up and everyone will die. That's what I think's gonna happen. I don't think that's safe. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Okay, so this is an ups, up and down pattern. C H E C K. Check. You're. I don't know. Uh, the important thing is we have these messages on every single secret message, and Nancy's notebook is going to keep track of it. T E L three Z E R three. That's actually the really important thing here. Maxine wanted me to do this. HGL3. Yep, that's that's the next message. So they changed some of these puzzles. Yeah, soup ladles save lives, definitely. What can I do for you? Uh, Daryl. Daryl, Connie broke your date. Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Oh yeah, yeah. So she... We, we've got a love triangle here. So she broke her date with Daryl to date the victim. Oh my gosh. She's like, okay, I uh... <laughs> okay, that secret sign said check eyesight in the gym. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, the hint. Yeah. Daryl, I found out that you're actually in your 40s pretending to be a teenager, and that's why I broke off your, uh, your date. See you later. Later. Hello, my fellow teenagers. How are you doing? Okay, and the navigation in this version of the game is a lot simpler. Like, woo, hey, I can walk down the hall. Yay. And then we have secret signs like everywhere. So right, left, down, up, the first letters will help my plight. Okay, cool. This is the victor victim's locker combo. I'm not sure if we can talk to the, uh, the other people about it. We'll see, we'll see. So this is find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. I R D two. So that's basically uh, the same puzzle as the original version where you just move the spaces around. Yeah, Nancy met that guy for the first time today. She meets Daryl immediately and then just asks, "Hey, why did you get dumped, Daryl?" <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is... What is this secret note? It's KRL2, but... S-I-N-I... Avid... Uh, Avid... Sness... Sinner... I don't know... So yeah, Jake wrote all the secret messages in this game. We'll, we'll get that confirmed later. KR31, nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide, let the books in the library be your answer guide. A symbol of country worn with great pride reflects a big secret that someone must hide. Same clues as the original. He did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant lying to keep up his charade. So check your eyesight in the gym here. If you can read this, you don't need glasses. No. Oh. If anything happens to me, look in my chemistry book, page three, three, zero, five. Yeah, okay, so chemistry book. We'll look in the chemistry book. Got to remember to do that. Got to take a look. You have to look at the poster in this version of the game. And everybody, it's our friend Hulk, Hulk Sanchez. He's wearing 80 because this was done for the 
80th uh, Nancy Drew uh, anniversary. Woo! KRL2 does sound like one of those characters from Star Wars. That's that's amazing. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. Wait, college ball? What's that? College ball? Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. What will you do if you don't get an offer? There's no way I'm not going to play college ball. Unlike Jake Rogers, I'm a winner. Unlike Jake Rogers? Jake Rogers was a loser. No one liked the dude. Even if he'd lived, he was headed for trouble. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. So, uh, Hector, the guy was just murdered, and your first instinct is like, huh, that guy's such a loser, man. He's such a loser. It's like, wow, totally insensitive. How's it going? How could I get into Jake's locker? I could tear the door off with my teeth, but it just might be easier to ask Hal Tanaka. His locker was right next to Jake's. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. I gotta go. Later. Later. Yeah, yeah, so... Hulk Sanchez, kind of a harsh dude. Kind of a harsh dude. Let's go to Hal. Hal Hal's over here. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. Are you stressed out? I'm studying really hard for exams now. My future as a doctor depends on the outcome of these tests. Also, I think the murder has caused a lot of tension at school. Wow. Well, who was murdered? <laughs> he already talked about the murder, and Nancy's like, Whoa, wow, what? You're mentioning something a second time? That's amazing. Jake Rogers, a student here at Paseo Del Mar High. It's really intense. Is that all you know about the murder? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Yeah, it is interesting. You think Hal's parents would want him to come back home because there's been a murder. Or at least, you think somebody's parents would say, Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe you should not be hanging around school unsupervised? Maybe? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day, Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Will that help? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Bye. See you later, Nancy. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, I, I, um, I'm trying to make decisions. Let's check out the library, sure, let's check out the library. And then we'll meet Connie, how's that? Let's meet Connie. So the student art exhibit, we've got new artwork, it's very cool. I like all this artwork. Ooh, got another quarter, everybody, we can play, we can play Barnacle Blast now. 
That's good. Let's see what this new clue is. This is Grape Grape Orange Cool will play the alarm in the school. ZRR4. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's that's the one you really need to read in order to beat the game. It's for a puzzle. Here we go. 3, 15, 15, 12. Oh, this has got to be a cipher, though. So C, cool, what is that? That's cool, cool, something, something, Y, D, 3. And I have the key, right? No, I have this key, library key. So the Memorial Library. Pretty much the same in both editions of the game. Uh, let's check out these books. Can I check out some of these bookshelves? There we go, there we go, okay. These are the books the same way. Study tips and secrets. Ichido! <laughs> That's from uh, um, the one where she goes to France. Um, Danger by Design, I see. These are different. These look like they're different books from the original game. The truth is in here. Mysteries and superstitions. Nope, that's, these are the same books from the original game. But this is different. Gemstones and how to identify them. That's from the 13th game. Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. They put in a bunch of books which are in uh, uh, other Nancy Drew games. Just reference this other Nancy Drew games. So this book about relics. Uh, this is from uh, Phantom of Venice. Phantom of Venice. But it looks like the other books are just the exact same. The other books, the books that you can't look at are the exact same. The books that you can look at were changed to books from other Nancy Drew games. Like this is Curse of Blackmore Manor. Cool. Let's see, so chemistry book. Oh no, okay. Declaration of My Independence by Nora Helmer. Okay. I wondered who wrote that book. That's a reference cart. Yeah, that's the reference section with a reference cart. Can't really look at these reference books in this version of the game, though. Aw, oh, it's so sad. We can still look at these magazines. The insanity of steroid abuse. Why do people use steroids? I can't believe it. More fan art. Kanji. There's kanji for crane, which we'll see uh, later on. Which book can I pick out here? H. Harry Houdini! That's from uh, the final scene, game number five, right? Marie Antoinette, game number four, uh, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Game number three, Message in a Haunted Mansion, Lizzie Applegate. I may not know my children's names, but I know the names of all the Nancy Drew games. Yeah, yeah, so there's Braille. <laughs> I missed a coin. Oh, uh, where, where's my coin? Oh no, where did I miss the coin? In the magazines, okay. I'll look for a magazine coin again. Good catch. I don't know, I don't see any coin here at the magazines. Looking, 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 yep. Ah, there. Aha, found it, thank you, good catch. Good catch. Okay. If anything happens to me, Search under my combo in catalog. Got it, got it. It's 
So that's another clue. Uh, the combo is 5253. Five, Jake Rogers, evidence under my seat. Alright, back here we've got more random books we can read. What in the what was that? Okay, yeah, um, I think that was the soda machine alarm going off, but wow, is that weird or what? It just seems like out of nowhere, the alarm goes off. You're pretty sure the computer would notice, um, that somebody added something. Okay, this is from game number 20, Ransom of the Seven Ships. I don't know who manages the library catalog to make sure there are no spurious entries, because you can only access that by, uh... Can you only access that by typing in 5253? Uh, Ham Rado, this is game number six, Secret of the Shadow, uh, um, Secret of Scarlet Hand. Crystal Skulls, obviously from Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, I don't know. It, it sounds like, it, it totally sounded like somebody was trying to steal from the library, if you ask me. That's what I think it sounded like. And so, under my seat is here. We have this puzzle. So if you solve this puzzle early, uh, let's solve the puzzle early. You get an Easter egg. Let's get that Easter egg. So, I think it's here, I need to restart it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Did I mess up somewhere? I could try solving again. You're supposed to get an Easter egg for this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see where I messed up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then nineteen. This puzzle is unavailable at this time. As a consolation prize, please accept this Easter egg. Check back here once you've escaped the boiler trap. Love, Nancy. Woo! And we got plenty of coins for that Easter egg. I like it. I love it. Jake was here. Okay, so the chemistry book, the page. Things to remember. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. The messages hold the remaining 18 steps. Elements tell the order. The letter and digits tell the direction. I, you too. This explains the puzzle. You know what? I'll explain that puzzle later. But yeah, Jake was totally psychic and knew he would die. So, um, why, why, why? I guess he just left behind these clues as an insurance, just in case he dies. I think that's how he explains it at the end of the game. It's like he wasn't expecting to die. This was just in case he happens to die. There's, these are clues that somebody else could decode. And let's check that evidence uh, here. So if I search the catalog for evidence. Uh, yeah. So uh, you have to search 5253. That's the only way you can find it. You can't just search the catalog for the title. So why did the culprit keep that book, the matchbook, taken from Maxine's? Good question. Question. You can look at something silly in Nancy's journal. I can't wait to go home and help my friends in the error. Error. What? It seems Jake left it in case anything happens to me. Note. Well, that's useful. 
Okay, so let's meet Connie now. Why not? Why not? Ooh, did I solve this puzzle yet? Here's a puzzle. A crane contestant in mass disguise won all the prize money despite the lies. A.S. U4. Okay, here we go in this room. This is the best part of the game. Students of the month, Mr. September! Woo! Ha ha ha! So that's me, that's me. I, I, that, that's a picture of me. I won a contest. They, they basically um, had like a yearbook photo contest through her, her interactive. And I won. And, uh, you know, it was get your picture in the next Nancy Drew game. Submit them a photo that looks like a yearbook photo. And... I thought it was actually going to be your yearbook, but it's not. It's not. So, cool fans, we're cool. Nancy, you can't go in there. But I have a key. Yeah, right. I've heard that one before. I do. It's literally right here. Teacher's Lounge key. You're not supposed to go in there. But I have a key. The Teacher's Lounge is off limits. But I have a key. Yeah, Connie does not believe I have a key. So Connie is sitting down in this version of the game. She got tired of standing in the corner. So in this version of the game, she's just sitting down. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. <laughs> she also just insults the victim and ends the conversation immediately. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... Ooh, they're gonna be in so much trouble! Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. No, but seriously, I want to hear the story. I know we just met, but, but, please tell me. Did Jake make you break the date? You're asking way too many questions, Nancy. What business is it of yours? Oh, so the murder happened last week. It wasn't this morning. Okay, okay, makes sense. Okay, that's that's different, because it was the day of the murder in the original version of the game, I believe. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane. <laughs> she brings up the murder and then refuses to talk about it. That's so illogical. Yes, yes, yes. I also like how she called Nancy by name before introducing herself to Nancy. It's like, how did she know Nancy's name? And Crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. What is it you want now? Don't get mad at me. I'm your friend. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. So we never do figure out who set off the soda machine alarm. I don't know who's been doing it. That is a legitimate question. I don't know who's been doing it or why. Just somebody's been doing it. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. 
Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Okay, so Hulk is basically accusing Hal of being the culprit. Wow, that's mean. Yeah, I bet Mr. September is the guy who's setting off the uh, soda machine alarm. I can't believe that. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, that Mr. September, super suspicious. Nobody can be that handsome. Yeah, I don't know. He, he is suspicious. Let's take a look at this guy again. I don't know. He's so cute and smiley. I don't know. He could still be suspicious, though. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, that's so cool. I, I love that my picture's in a Nancy Drew game. What is it you want now? Cool. If they remaster the game, uh... <laughs> Secrets can kill remastered, remastered. What would they call it? Would they have just two remasters at the end of the game? Our secrets can kill remastered too. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nancy. Let's just gossip with uh, all the students about each other. How's it going? I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, where are all the other students in school, though? There are like three students in school. Basically just the three students, right? Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies. Secrets can kill the definitive edition. Oh my. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Bye. I must go now, Nancy. He says and then continues to stay in place. What is it you want now? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Okay, so, uh, let's go talk to Daryl then. Might as well talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him a little bit, and then we'll start these puzzles. Everybody in this game is super defensive, yeah. What can I do for you? How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. Aww. Bye. See ya. Poor, poor Daryl. What can I do for you? Bye. Bye, Nancy. Actually, actually showing real emotion for a second there. Hi, Nancy. How can I get into the teacher's lounge? Look, Nancy, maybe this assignment isn't for you. I can't be holding your hand all the time. Your job is to come to me with solutions, not problems. Don't be a jerk, Beach. Could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. 
I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. You're so useless, Detective Beach. I found a notepad in the library that seems like a message from Jake. Really? Tell me more. It says, things to remember me, and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to keep a low profile and be careful. Bye, Uncle Steve. See you later. <laughs> yeah, conversations. Hey, how can I help you? Bye. Particle Blast! <laughs> That's uh, Nancy Drew, uh, the Haunted Carousel. Okay, so chests. You want to get the treasure chest? Ah, uh, yeah. So let's do this. Oh, really? Like the hardest game ever. Okay. Ugh. I can tell a game's not gonna be easy if they give you, what, what was it, eight lives to start with? I like this music though. So you can control this with the uh, up, down, left, right buttons or your mouse. And that's making me a little nervous with the, because uh, I can't like move my mouse to the bottom of the screen. I'm like, ah. Oh. No. So the treasure chest was uh, good news, it said. Ah. Yeah, this is this is terrible. Definitely the dancing. Yeah, it's the dance music from Phantom of Venice. What was that? Okay, that was probably the sound of me getting this larger paddle. And I have a faster moving I mean, the whirlpool was the ball moves way, way faster, right? Making it harder for you to catch up. Yeah. Whew. Do, 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 do. Woo! Okay. Game over. Done. Okay. Should I try that again or just stop there? I really, I really think it was just, just we'll just stop there. I was not doing well. <laughs> okay. So his locker combo is five two five three. We have the judo thing again. We have Nineko, the masked marauder, winning the men's judo competition. We have this English essays through the ages, and we have the empty video cassette tape. No video camera in this version. Mm, some money, great. And there's a break-in at the local pharmacy. Let's talk to the uh, students about it.
What is it you want now? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Fantastic. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Well, someone mentions uh, saving. Could we do that with Barnacle Blast? Like you save the game, you, you beat a level and then save, and then beat a level and then save, and just, just keep reloading. That way you can get to the end of the game without losing any lives on Barnacle Blast. On Barnacle Blast, is that how you do it? Save state abuse? How's it going? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I gotta go. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, Nancy, that's real conversation skills right there. Ask one question, then leave. So is grape, grape, orange cool? Good job, Nancy. Better tell Connie to come fix it. Oh dear. Okay, so I broke the soda machine in the school. Hey Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Alright, let's go here. So this is where we learn how This looks plagiarize. exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Definitely. He's such a plagiarist. I want those donuts. I still want donuts. A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. A.G. D1. Gray Enterprises reported a huge loss. Oh man, yeah, their stock is terrible. Oh my goodness. So that's that's why Daryl's party. Daryl doesn't throw wild parties anymore. It's because they they just lost all the money. So yeah, that Mr. Mr. September totally set off the soda machine alarm. I can't believe it. Yeah, luckily he doesn't like s snitch. Hulk doesn't tell Connie. Hey, I saw Nancy do it. English essays through the. That sounded like somebody slamming on the door. I don't like that. Um, okay, computer library networks. Blah blah blah. No recycling. No CD-ROMs. Mail. We need to find a replacement for Jake Rogers on the bulletin board duty. Okay. So yeah, it was definitely Jake who put all those secret messages on the bulletin boards. Maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Boiler room door is still note, right? It's still note. And that's help in case you've never used a computer before. Very helpful indeed. So let's read uh, read this. Okay. Is this a secret message? N A T A uh, A C H. I don't think so. I could be wrong. Maybe it's an anagram. Okay. So security report from T O Tanta. License library entrance doors locked. Put an order for HVAC. Patrol the grounds, dumpsters, raccoons in the dumpsters. Young man peering through the entrance. Approximately, I saw two uh, individuals arguing outside the gym. I approached them. They ran down the street. First was a male, five foot five, uh, 120 inches, uh, red hair. Well, no, 120 pounds, actually. Red hair, 15 to 18 years old. Wore green windbreaker. The second was 15 to 18 years old. Football jersey with eight and zero on it. Eight and zero. Oh my gosh. So Hulk was actually there with the victim. Several students soaping up the teacher's lounge. Students admitted it was a senior prank. 
Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvette Wong. <laughs> I believe those two are culprits from Nancy Drew books. Yep. Heard screams from the stairwell. After calling 911, found a male teenager who fell from the stairs. See my police report for more details. And we get a phone call. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. Uh. Oh no, Mitch Dillon called me with a threatening message. Ooh, and drama. Okay, drama. So what's Connie been doing? Hey, how do you... I think this... No, I'm the person you'd least expect a letter from... <clears throat> You might be wondering why I'm even sending you this, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways, we catch each other's eyes, and it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends, and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you. Every time I drive to or from school, it's like you're in the car with me, and we have these amazing conversations, and I'm thinking, will this ever become true? Can you ever forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows it's not safe and stupid to do. Sometimes, I just can't keep it bottled inside me, and I just want to scream from the rooftops. Am I crazy? Am I? Am I? So the mystery is solved because Nancy has caller ID. Yeah, yeah. Caller ID was invented in between 1998 and 2010, so Nancy can easily call him Dylan, back. heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling, how may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Oh, Mitch Dillon. Very... <laughs> that's just silly. And Ned, let's see if he has Hi, anything Nancy. to say. Nothing. So how did Mitch get Nancy's phone number? Good question. Bye, Ned. Tschüss. Hey, I didn't threaten you, okay? I just called you and was angry, that's all. Huh. Okay. That new girl told me you said I'm having money problems. So what if I did? You're such a loser! Don't ever use that word to refer to me. Get out of my face, Hector! What are you going to do? Ow! Ow, ow! Connie, stop it! You have an attitude problem. Later. And Connie just disappeared. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. I'll yeah. talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. The villain is Mitch, and Mitch apparently is three years old. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. I didn't do it. I swear. Y yes, you did. You just threatened me. I, you, I didn't do it. Arrgh. Okay. What can I do for you? Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Is yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Oh, and here's where Daryl gets whiny. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. Okay, so here's my question. If school's been closed until now, how was he in detention? Did they just open up the school just so they could give this guy two days of detention? I guess. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? 
Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an undercover agent. I'm working undercover for the police to investigate the murder. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good one! You, an undercover detective? But seriously, I have no idea. What else can I do for you? <laughs> oh, that's great! I love it! I love it! That's so good! I have no idea. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Okay, do you people want to see me try to do Barnacle Blast to the end of the game? Or at least try out that save state cheat? Or no, let me know. Where are they even holding detention? Yes, there are no classrooms. It's interesting, yeah. Did I overhear you telling Daryl that you're an undercover detective? <sighs> yes. What did I tell you about not revealing this information? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Need I remind you that this is a serious murder investigation and we are counting on you to act responsibly. Is that clear? Yes, very clear. Anything else? <laughs> I'm angry with you. I'm very, very angry with you. Now can we have a normal conversation? I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take How? care of him. How did he find out that I'm snooping? How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just wow. concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. Let me know, okay? When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take a videotape? No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hid it. Something like that. Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. See you around. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. A few people wanted Barnacle Blast. Let's at least just check out the, uh... Check out the, uh... The, uh... The, uh... Whatever I was saying. The save thing. The save state thing. So I'll save here. So I guess I actually have to get to a level two though before I can see if the save state saves uh, levels. Wow, yeah, that's what you, that's, that's how you want to do Barnacle Blast, get all of the things on the top. If you can get your little paddle thing to bounce off all the ones on the top, that would be great. doing way better this time around, huh? You win! So save my game here on level 2. Daryl, yeah, I bet if Daryl was trying, he would oh, he would have overheard that entire phone conversation. Or, I mean, that conversation between Nancy and Beach. It's not like Beach was being very quiet. Yay, and I got this large paddle now. Blasting these barnacles, blasting them away. Okay, only one more. Yeah. It's probably going to take forever to get that one. There's like 30 levels in this. What? No. No way. 
trying to get the uh, treasure chest but it doesn't look like you can control which direction the uh, the the ball bounces off the paddle sound of getting an extra life. You get an extra life when you get, what, every thousand, ten thousand points, it looks like? Every five thousand points? Fifty thousand points? That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm guessing. I wasn't actually paying attention to the, uh, point total. Yay! Woo! Okay. So what's this? This is interesting. If I try to shoot something in the middle, I die instantly. Nice, thanks game. Oh, hey, I got an extra life somewhere. Yeah, and this is where the game is just not fun. Uh, I'm trying to get things in the corner. Is there like a way to aim for the corner? I don't know. Okay, somebody said 20 levels of Barnacle Blast. It's still way more levels than I think I can handle. Okay, so here I think I'll start by throwing things here at the side, rather than trying to bounce at the bottom. Game over! So let's see if the uh, Barnacle Blast thing did save. It does! Okay, so that's how you, that's how you do Barnacle Blast all the way to the end is you just abuse save states. Cool. So that is how you would do Barnacle Blast all the way to the end. Okay, so where was I? Grape, grape, orange, cool. Um... Hmm. Oh yeah, wait, we need to confront Hal about the fact hey, that Nancy, he need is something? a plagiarist. See you later. Adios. That's what you have to do. Yep. And I believe that triggers uh, the, the message to Nancy at Maxine's. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation. 
but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Bye. Farewell, Nancy. So yeah, that's the clue that we need to go to Daryl now. And Daryl will say somebody left the note for me. Oh, and Detective Beach is not here. No, Detective Beach, but you're so boring. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the word on the street? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Yeah, Daryl's just creepy. Talk to you later. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the basement of the maintenance room of the high school. Bye, Nancy. What can I do for you? Talk to you later. Take care. Okay, so the boiler room uh, door was note, N-O-T-E. It's, uh, okay, I, have, I still have the picture on my phone. So, N O T E. It's the same puzzle as the the original game. Use your bolt cutters here. And this time. Ouch! Too hot. This time, Nancy says, "Oh, it's too hot. I can't. I can't open this." So she needs to get the gloves. And we'll use the gloves to grab this. Let's see, one, two, uh, and, and then three, three, and then one. Yep, that's the solution. That turns it off. Exact same solution as the original game. You're trying to get them to look like this. Here's uh, the, the thing from Maxine's that got torn off. The culprit stole it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this is, uh, well, it's broken. It's broken. We can't do that. Okay, so here's the tape right near the vent. And Nancy's just going to crawl through the vent. So, two things here, two things here. Okay, um, yeah, let's watch the tape first, and then I'll, I'll do the other thing. Okay. Basically, that, that opens up two things. We follow up the matchbook note, and we follow up the clue with this tape. Oh, we'll turn on the TV first. Let's watch it. So, we have a, a camera, I guess, in, in the Hulk's locker showing him with the stolen steroids. Also, Connie's locker. She is the the mass contestant. And here is uh, Hal just checking out. Uh, he's just plagiarizing in the middle of the library where anybody can see him. How terrible. How terrible of you, Hal. You are a terrible, terrible person. We already knew he was doing it, but yeah, this is Jake's blackmail tape. Blackmailing everyone. 
So, how'd your date go with the mysterious note-leaving guy? Let's just say he almost took my breath away. Good, so I'm still in the running for you. Oh, well, no, Daryl, I'm not interested. Daryl, I'm not interested. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Bye. Later. Yeah, nobody, nobody found out that, uh... Nobody noticed the hidden cameras inside their lockers. I don't know why. Nancy, you look terrible. What happened to you? Are you okay? Somebody set a booby trap for me in the school. I'm pretty sure it was Mitch Dillon who set it up. Okay, we'll handle this and get Mitch off the street. We can't charge him now or we'll blow our cover, but once this investigation is done, I guarantee you he'll pay for this. Okay, yeah, no, Hal was plagiarizing. We get to see the actual book and the actual essay. It's just word for word stealing it. That's just plagiarism. I found the videotape Jake made. It shows some students that Jake was blackmailing. Was one of the students Daryl Gray? No. That's surprising. My intuition says that Blondie Burger Boy is involved in this somehow. Blondie Good lead, Burger but Boy. we really need to find that journal of Jake's. I think a student may have killed Jake because he was blackmailing him, or her. You're getting great leads, but think and may have are not good enough. We need to find hard evidence, like Jake's journal. Daryl mentioned that you had lost something last week? Yes. I lost my wallet. A lot of my undercover contact information is in the wallet, including yours. You can imagine what would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. Did you ever find it? It was in my hotel room all along. I think I was drinking too much coffee. It's starting to affect my mind. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy. Excellent. So, now let's solve the, uh, the library puzzle. I guess we could talk to everybody. Yeah, let's talk to everybody about being blackmailed, though. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Yeah, the adults in this game. First, it's like, hey... Blondie Burger Boy, and oh, he's a major Mr. Cranky Pants. It, we have weird insults in this game. Definitely. I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Did you kill Jake to stop him from blackmailing you? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Jake was threatening to expose you, maybe even make you lose your black belt, and he forced you to break your date with Daryl. Life would have been so easy with him out of the way. I didn't kill Jake. Oh, well, okay, I guess I'll accept that. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah. Yup. Okay. Ever been in the chats talking about Nancy's evidence being gathered illegally and therefore being inadmissible uh, for arrest? I don't know, I think the blackmail videotape, was that illegally gathered? I don't think that is. Uh, the stuff she got breaking into Jake's locker, which is a police crime scene. Yeah, yeah, that's illegal. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. See you later. See you later, Nancy. Okay, and we, we finished talking to Hal. We, we already talked to him about the blackmail earlier, I forgot. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug station. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. It would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. Granted, it doesn't take a lot to get full confessions from any of the characters, though, so they don't really seem to care about evidence. They, they confess uh, of their own accord. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. I needed to impress the scouts. Then I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain, and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. Yeah, Connie definitely does look like Lisa from Treasure in the Royal Tower. They look similar. Did you kill him? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl. 
Goodbye. Later. Great, you broke it! <laughs> just breaking that, just cause, just cause. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll look at Mr. September one more time. Mr. September, Mr. September, my favorite guy is Mr. September. Yeah! Then we have Miss October, Mr. November. I'm not surprised that the, the ratio of fans for uh, the, the Nancy Drew series is, what, 80% female and 20% male? I think there's a similar uh, gender breakdown uh, on my YouTube channel. At least that's what the YouTube analytics tell me. Let's go upstairs. And here is the puzzle. So the answer to my fate lies in the box. So the matchbook is step number one. So that matchbook was uh, right here, this one. That's step number one. And then you need to follow the clue. So I, you two, I've got my list here somewhere. Oh, those are my observation. I want, I want to look at my observations. So, uh, A G D one C L D two, which A S U four I U two. As soon as you put all those together, they match with this, the periodic table, of the elements. So you make the list and put them in elemental order. If that's a word, <laughs> elemental order. Okay, and the messages hold the remaining 18 steps. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying guys can't play Nancy Drew games. But, you know, it is a company called Her Interactive, and, you know, the original slogan for this game was, like, Four Girls. Four Girls was, like, in the company's original slogan. So, definitely this game in particular, you know, the original one, was definitely way more gendered than it could have been. So, number one... And then we go up to right one, and then left three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll notice it's way easier this time around because when you push, when you push something, it's pushed down all the way and stays there. Okay, so we got an extra tape. We got this tape, so we're gonna play this tape in the, uh, it, inside Aunt Eloise's house. And I think that's basically it. We don't talk to it. Yeah, no, the original slogan was for girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. That was the original slogan of her interactive. Uh, yeah. I don't think we can talk to Daryl about anything what else. What can I do for you? Yeah, we can, yes. Hulk Sanchez said he saw you delivering an envelope to Jake. Okay, so I gave him an envelope. Big deal. It was about a school project I'm working on. Hey, what is it with all these questions? I'm really starting to wonder who you are exactly, Nancy Drew. I'm out of here. If Maxine drops by, make up a good excuse about why I had to leave. See you around, Nancy. So whiny. So whiny. Really. Hi, Nancy. Bye, Uncle Steve. Goodbye, Nancy. Yeah, well, that's that. <laughs> Let's just watch this tape. And this will be the end of the game. Let's see. Uh, turn on the TV, then put in the tape. Which one is which? Videotape hidden by Jake. This one. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means, but he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. 
Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc, etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Aunt Eloise? Is that you? Who's the culprit? This dude! This dude! Okay, so Detective Beach is actually actually a contact so he's selling the schematics for the rocket ship from haunting a castle Malloy uh, to somebody for some reason I don't know why hi Nancy oh and that's it I gotta go bye Nancy we can't talk to Ned about anything I figured out who the culprit is yeah that seems like that would be important information to talk about but no no Nancy won't say anything cool so yeah, Jake was an evil blackmailer. Uh, he tried to blackmail Detective Beach. Um, Daryl was selling top secret uh, in top secret information to Detective Beach. <gasps> Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No. You said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Nancy. Why don't we step into the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. Nancy! Really? So Nancy basically just slips there, and now the culprit knows everything. And really, Nancy doesn't have the journal, she just knows where it's located. So, like, uh So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance, behind the mirror. Nancy, run for it now. Who are you exactly if you're not a detective? Just a businessman. I'll be at an unconventional one. A businessman who deals in top secret information that certain governments and other parties are interested in. No journal. Wow, you destroyed. I'm going that to give mirror. you another chance. Tell me where my journal is. It's in the entrance, in the sofa under the rose paintings. Why me? Why did you choose me to go undercover? You fit the bill. You're a teenager, you're new in town, and you're an amateur detective. I overheard your aunt talking about you at the diner and came up with the whole undercover idea. I don't think the journal's here. I've been a very patient man and I need my journal. Tell me where it is. No, oh, no. Okay, so he's going to kill Nancy uh, here. It's in the credenza drawer. Warning. So, did Jake try to blackmail you after he found your journal at the diner? Excellent deduction, my dear Drew. That's why I sent Mitch after Jake, to rough him up a bit. Unfortunately for Jake and Mitch, the roughing up got a bit out of hand. No journal. 
You've tried my patience long enough. You leave me no choice but to find the journal on my own! No! Ah! Yeah. So how did Beach know Nancy was inside Aunt Eloise's house? Lucky guess, I suppose? But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Okay, so it's behind the tapestry. It's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? What you do is you feed him the wrong combination over, over, and over again. Because as we saw at the beginning of the game, the wrong combination, uh, three times. Three times triggers the security alarm. Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. That's not it, Nancy. Uh, Mu Phi? Mu Pi Phi Zeta. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Mu Pi Phi Zeta. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. Yep, Detective Beach just knew uh, Greek letters. He, he apparently is a Greek scholar. Um, maybe he was a fraternity guy in college. I don't know. So what items not on the diner menu? Ribs with creature sauce, gotcha ga gazpacho, broccoli surprise, or baked corn dogs. Which one should I pick? This... I don't think we get anything. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it's just it's just a fun trivia question. The whole chain on the outside of the the actual cage is kind of crazy, though. Yeah, and Nancy's gonna be outside tanning her body. Just just getting a cool tan. Who lays under a beach blanket? I don't know. Maybe she doesn't really want to tan. That's that's a good good uh that's a good point okay well uh i don't see anything in the in in the live stream comments so i'm just gonna go with creature sauce and uh that was wrong right i i didn't get the trivia question correct oh well oh well and that's it so that's the end of the game now we get a preview of game number 23 I've always wanted to visit Japan, from the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, PG Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the Ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Woo! Like a bullet from a gun, she arrives on the scene, a young detective who doesn't know the meaning of fear. When she's on the case, 
no time to waste when you're face to face with an eagle that is lurking but you just can't see it persist persevere and the problem will disappear you say you're in a jam and you don't know what to do get down with the drew crew Living in the raw, sneaking and peeking over the horizon, who could it be? N to the A to the N C Y doesn't battle with her fists, but with her mind all the time when she's solving a mystery. Bad boys and girls, your history locked up. Well, your choices are few. A resident of the room without a view. Do the crime, it's the time you will do. Another victim of the Drew Crew! So yeah, that's the Nancy Drew rap. Oh man! Th thank you everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you indeed! And that's it. So that's the end Hi, of the ending. Hi, I'm credits. Nancy Drew. Uh, thank you very this much is my for center of Nancy operations, Drew. my desk. Go ahead and poke around. And I hope you if you want to know it. the particulars of how I do what I do, Woo. take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business.